In this episode, we'll look at the Ceramonic Smart Rig Plus, which is a two channel mixer and audio adapter for XLR microphones, 3.5 millimeter microphones, guitars, and it allows you to record your camera or to a mobile phone. Looking here first at the device, we have the combination quarter inch XLR inputs. This is where you would input your XLR microphones or your guitars or other instruments. It also has two 3.5 millimeter microphone inputs. This would be most typically used for things like lavalier microphones. In terms of build quality, it is all plastic with the exception of the quarter 20 tap on the bottom, which allows you to attach it to your camera rig. It's uh, not the cheapest plastic and it's not the highest grade plastic. It's right kind of in the middle of the road. So it's going to be decent again for the price. There's a gain trim for each of the input channels. So two of those. And there's also a power switch which allows you to turn the device on without phantom power or to turn it on with phantom power to each of the inputs. There is also this switch which allows you to change the output to go either to a camera or to a mobile device. And there is also this mono stereo switch which allows you to route all of the audio from all of the inputs to both output channels or to send the input one to the left channel and input two to the right channel on the output. This allows you to either mix all of the inputs together or to keep them separate if you want to mix them later in post. The headphone output is 3.5 millimeter jack, which is really great that you can actually monitor your audio while you're recording. It unfortunately does not have a volume control and just so that everyone's clear, this does not allow you to play back sound as you're playing back video on your camera it only allows you to monitor while you're recording. Overall though, it's really great that they include this jack so you can monitor while you're recording. We're now giving you a wider angle of view with the iPhone 7 Plus in the same location as the Panasonic GH4. In this case, again, with the Aperture Deity running into the Smart Rig Plus and in turn going into the iPhone 7 Plus using the included adapter dongle that came with the iPhone 7 Plus. And uh, that's because of course the iPhone 7 Plus does not have a microphone slash headphone input output. And uh, this is what this looks and sounds like. And now here we're working with the Senkin Cos 11D lavalier microphone mounted just here on my chest. And this is exactly what this sounds like routed directly into the Smart Rig Plus and into my Panasonic GH4. Look, to get this there, obviously most lavaliers don't have cables that long. We are actually using uh, a Rode VC1 extension cable. And this feeds it long enough to get to the camera and then to the Smart Rig and then to the GH4. We're now recording here with the Shure SM58, which is a dynamic microphone, into the Smart Rig Plus, into my Panasonic GH4. To do a microphone like this, you need a lot of gain. And that's why I wanted to do this test in particular, because it would push the preamplifier in the Smart Rig Plus pretty hard, um, because these kinds of microphones put out a very weak signal relative to condenser microphones. That means the preamplifier has to, to apply more gain to do more amplification to get the signal where you need it. So again, this is the Shure SM58 dynamic microphone into the Smart Rig Plus, which is then routed into my Panasonic GH4. One thing that's pretty cool about the Smart Rig Plus is that it is essentially a mixer, and that means you can record two separate microphones and you can keep them separate. That is, you can treat them almost like isolated tracks. So here I have a Shure SM58, which is recording to the left channel. And here I have a Shure SM57, which is recording to the right channel. So you can see that as you're recording two people, say for example, an interview or a dialogue scene where you have two separate mics for whatever reason, you can then do the mixing in post. So you can fine tune the levels and maybe uh, maybe there's something weird on one of the channels, like one of the microphones, something funny was going on. You can clean that one up and then mix the two together. So that's a pretty nice feature as well. Now, if you don't want to do that extra work in post, that's an option as well. We'll go ahead and switch this from stereo mode back to mono mode and you'll see what happens. Now, if you don't want to do any extra work in post and you just want both of the microphones to play back on both speakers, you can also set it back to mono mode on the Smart Rig Plus, and then you'll get this effect here. This is a Shure SM58, which is in input one. Now you can see it's playing back in both left and right speakers. And this is the Shure SM57, which is going into channel two and is again playing back on both speakers. So you have some flexibility. If you want to record them on separate channels, you can do that. If you want to record both of them to both channels, you can do that as well. To test the self-noise performance of the preamplifiers, 
we used the XLR inputs. We turned it on with phantom power. We did not connect a microphone, but instead shorted out pins two and three, which are essentially the two different balanced microphone wires on an XLR cable. And what we found was that the noise floor sat at minus 69 dB when we recorded it to our Panasonic GH4. That's actually very respectable. And normally I like my finished audio to have the noise floor sitting at minus 60 dB or lower. So this did great. We did a battery test by turning on phantom power and powering a microphone. We found that the battery, a nine volt alkaline disposable battery, lasted for over 12 hours, just over 12 hours. Again, that's very impressive and I think totally sufficient for what we're trying to accomplish here. There is this quarter 20 tap on the back that allows you to mount it to your camera rig. That's very helpful as well because otherwise there's no great way to mount it on your device. And the current price at the time of the review is $99 US. Now, what's my overall impression? I think this is a great device for certain niches. So I think it really works well for someone who wants a camera rig that's very, very light, but they need some XLR microphone inputs or they want to input their guitar, say for example, singer songwriters that want to video record playing a song. Um, you have one channel for a mic, another channel for your guitar or other instrument. So that's a really good uh, use case when you want to record to your camera or even to a smartphone. Really nice options there. Um, there are some things that are a little funky about it. Um, I, I kind of wish that the XLR inputs were on the bottom of the device instead of the top of the device. It's not a huge deal, um, but I think it would have been more intuitive because if you're going to rig it up to your camera, typically you want the cables facing down, not up. <laughs> so um, again, not a huge deal, just a kind of an ergonomic thing that I would change if I were designing it. Build quality, I think is sufficient for the price. It's not something that you're... Um, you know, going to drop 10 feet onto a concrete floor and expect it to come out unscathed, I, you know, so you're going to want to be a little bit careful with it. But I think it's sufficient, again, for its price range and for the type of use that it's intended for. Also could be a very good option for running gunners that want to keep their rig, their camera rig, very lightweight, but also want to have the flexibility of inputting XLR microphone input. So this is probably the least expensive XLR audio adapter I've used that has very respectable quality in terms of sound quality. So I was pretty impressed with it from that standpoint. Hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you have not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And I'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.